All right, welcome back to another painting video by the Canadian Home Painter. Um, just a quick video to show you uh, after you get the second coat of the uh, wall color finished, then what I like to do just at the end is uh, put a final coat of the trim paint on. I can clean up that edge very easily with my inch and a half brush. Now, I do have um, a certain way I like the brush to be. So, right out of the package, it's not quite how I like it for this application. But after a couple washes, so this is about two, it's been used maybe two times, two or three times, I find that it's just perfect the way that it um, is shaped. So it's not fresh out of the package, so it's a little different when it's fresh out of the package, and then after it's been used too much, it gets too too wide in this part. But I find after a couple washes, so using it two or three times beforehand, I can just really cut a nice clean straight line, just freehand. So I'll show you what I mean. I don't even really, put much paint on the brush at all. And the the end is um, just very secure and stable. So it just cuts a nice, easy, straight line along the top. See how just quick and easy that is? So you just want to get it started and then just drag it along and you have a very very straight line now I, I don't have any drop cloth down here um, if you are uncomfortable with free handing along the top see even getting down to the bottom I use this tapered part of the brush at the very bottom I'm not touching the floor at all and I'm just giving it a nice, light second coat. So after just so much practice, I, whoops, I got a little bit on the floor there. <laughs> right as I'm saying how good I am. Well, that's what happens. So you can easily just Clean that up on a hardwood floor like that. But you can see, nice straight line just finishes off the baseboard with one last coat and a nice clean straight line along the top. I might show how to do it in a different area. So I'm just using a door and trim paint. Uh, it's by a company named Seco, and it's um, it's really good paint. Great for for trim for baseboards, very durable. So this is in a little bit brighter spot here, but yeah, I have pretty much no paint on my brush. I just get it started and drag it along. With these inch and a half brushes, they're just so versatile. You can get into tight areas, and it seems to um, put on just a perfect amount of paint. I never have runs, no paint runs. Now that I say that, I'll probably get a run happening. So, once again, you don't want any paint on just to cut your line. It'll take care of some, because I got a little sloppy with my second coat of my wall color. There, so it's just a nice 
straight line on the top of that baseboard. Some of these little areas can be a little bit tricky with the brush. But yeah, that's um, nice and finished. You want to give the paint a long enough time for curing. There. Maybe I'll try another spot here. I would suggest having a knee brace, or <laughs> not a knee brace, a knee pad for this, because right now I'm going to be just going along the top of the baseboard. See how nice and easy that is? Just gives it a nice clean finish. I mean, it'll take a little bit of practice, obviously. I mean, I do this every day, so I have lots of practice. And for this part, I get a bit more paint on my brush, but just nice and even strokes along the baseboard. And if you see some brush marks, I wouldn't worry too much about that because when the paint starts to dry and set up, it will, it, you know, those brush marks will go away. It'll start to set up and it starts to dry. And I find that with a good door and trim paint, those marks start to disappear. There, so it really doesn't take much time to finish up your last coat on your baseboard. I might use a different brush for just right in here. Yeah, those ones I have a different brush I use for that. But yeah, this is um, pretty straightforward. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you. If you do feel uncomfortable with doing it along the bottom there. Just put a piece of like inch and a half tape, painter's tape, on your floor. Be sure to remove it after you're done. You don't want that to be left on the floor for too long. But if you do feel comfortable, have just a rag nearby that you can wipe something up if you have an accident. And uh, yeah, hopefully you like this video. And be sure to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't to the channel and look for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.